Okay, so we're currently in one of my Shopify test stores and I'm gonna show you how to do this right now. So you can see I'm inside of online store and at themes. You can see inside of here that there are a few themes I have that are still in an old version. I have Dawn version 10 here. I need to update it to version 11. So it's not my live theme right now, but imagine it was my live theme. What you're gonna do is you're gonna click this button over here, the three little dots, and you're going to go to edit code. Just close all these folders to make it easier to see. Go to config and go to where it says settings underscore data dot JSON and click into it. This entire data structure represents the entirety of all of the settings you have set up in your theme. So every little customization setting you made in the theme admin, so different pages, different sections, all of it is encapsulated right here. You're gonna go in and you are going to use Command A if you're on Mac or Control A on Windows. You're gonna copy the entire thing. And you're gonna wanna make sure you post it somewhere just so you don't lose the information. Now, don't go over to settings schema. You wanna go to settings data. Okay, so we're gonna exit from the Dawn theme. Let's imagine we're gonna upgrade it now, right? I'm gonna create a duplicate of the theme. This is especially important if you're doing this for your live theme, you're updating your live theme. You never wanna make changes to your live theme. You always wanna make a duplicate first. So make a duplicate, you can call it whatever you want, and we're going to apply the update to the duplicate. So let's go in, and I am going to update. I didn't realize it updates like this, hold on. Okay, yeah, updated copy of the theme. I didn't realize it just makes another copy for you. Shopify must have made some changes. They never used to do that. Either way, you just don't wanna work off the live theme, so it's fine, right? So we're getting the updated copy of the Dawn theme. We're getting a copy of a copy. How funny. Either way, you're gonna wait for it to... Oh, your customizations were copied successfully. This is, this is new. Okay, hold on. Let me look to edit code right now. So you're gonna go edit your code in the new theme, the updated theme, and you are going to check the config settings.data, right? Now, just to make sure that the customizations were actually copied over, you're gonna do control A and then control V or um, command V if you're on Dawn. Well, if you're on Mac, you know, you know what I mean? So once you do that and you're going to press save, right? Now, usually if the data was the same, it wouldn't give you the option to save because nothing is different. See how I just deleted it and brought it back? Technically, it doesn't give me the option to save because nothing is different. But you saw before when I first pasted it in the video, it gave me the option to save. That means all of my customizations actually were not copied over. But let's imagine they were copied over perfectly, right? The Dawn theme was a theme created by the Shopify team. So of course they would do their due diligence to make sure, or at least to try to make sure that all your customizations are copied over. But if you're using a third party theme that's not built by the Shopify team, or even a theme that's not even part of the Shopify marketplace or one that was made by your own developers or something, you wanna make sure you copy over the settings underscore data.json over. That way you will never lose any of your customizations. So once you're done, you're gonna go in and rename the theme whatever you want. I don't know, call it whatever you want. And then you're going to preview the theme and you're gonna check to see if all your customizations are the way that they're supposed to be. So just navigate to a few different pages, make sure everything is good, and then you can publish the theme, right? And as a bonus, if you'd like, I think you should do this too. You're gonna wanna make sure you test the theme on a mobile device, your phone, preferably an iPhone, because a lot of your users are probably using iPhone, and just make sure the preview of the new theme looks the way it should. And then if everything looks good, you can click the publish button and publish this new version of your theme and you're all done. And the cool thing about the fact that we made duplicates of the live theme before we did anything, let's say there was an issue of some sort and something doesn't match up the way it should. You could always run back the previous live version of your theme. You can just keep that theme and publish it and keep it as a backup in case anything goes wrong. Okay, that about does it for the video. I hope you enjoyed, hope you found it helpful and subscribe to the channel, like the video so you don't miss out on all the updates we have and see you on the next one.